Welcome to the .NET Way. This is episode 6 of our C-Sharp interview series, where we tackle real interview questions with clear, concise answers. So far, we've covered classes, objects, and constructors in episode 5. Today, we'll focus on another essential concept, properties, fields, and access modifiers in C-Sharp. Let's bring in Sanya, our candidate, and get started. Sanya, let's start with the basics. What is a field in C Sharp? A field is a variable that is declared directly inside a class or struct. It holds data or state related to the object. Fields are usually marked as private to follow good encapsulation practices. What is a property in C Sharp? A property is a member that provides controlled access to a field. It has get and set accessors and is used to read or write the field's value while adding validation or logic. What's the difference between a field and a property? A field is just a raw variable, while a property provides a layer of abstraction and control. Properties can have logic inside their get or set blocks, which fields cannot. What are auto-implemented properties? Auto properties allow you to define a property without explicitly declaring a backing field. C Sharp creates it for you internally. For example, public string name, open curly brace, get semicolon, set semicolon, close curly brace. Can we create a read only property? Yes, you can define a property with only a get accessor or use init in newer versions of C Sharp. Example, public string name, open curly brace, get semicolon, close curly brace. What are access modifiers in C Sharp? Access modifiers control the visibility of class members. The main ones are public, private, protected, internal and protected internal. What does private mean? Private means the member is accessible only within the same class. It's the most restrictive access level. What's the use of protected and internal? Protected allows access within the same class and derived classes. Internal allows access within the same assembly or project. Can we apply access modifiers to properties? Yes, you can apply access modifiers to both the property and its get or set blocks. For example, public string name, open curly brace, get semicolon private set semicolon close curly brace why should we use properties instead of public fields using properties gives you more control you can validate input apply business rules and later add logic without changing the external interface great job once again sanya that wraps up episode 6 of our c -sharp interview series. We learned how properties help control data access, how fields store object state, and how access modifiers determine visibility. In episode 7, we'll dive into inheritance, method overriding, and base keyword. A very popular topic in OOP interviews. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the .NET way where learning meets experience. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.